H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. The moment you change it back to private, you get this set underlined. Similarly, super admin wants to see the admins. Uh, super admin wants to change the password and the uh, username for admin. That can be done because admin change password, admin change password and change username are both default access specifiers. These are both default access specifiers that can be used in the current package in which it is created. So what I can do is that I can create an object of the for example um, admin a is equal to new admin and I can basically call up the methods called change admin username like this and directly change the uh, username for the admin rights let's say it can be Sammy and uh, the change password for Sammy is this one it's Sammy at the rate one two three four so I have changed the admin's username and password from the super admin console for example I can save this class by running it I'll get the change password okay let's say in pack one I create a class called M employee call it the main method the employee should be able to also see his uh, his or her earlier username and password and the changed username and the changed password so what I can do is that I'll create it create a protected global variable of string type let's say employee username and a protected string type employee variable called as employee password protected access specifier can be used in the package in which it is created the package is pack one and can be accessed by other classes of other of other packages if that class of other packages inherits this particular class so let us look at it protected void type and I'll call this as change employee user name and I can pass on the change username as you name and the change value will be passed on to the global variable called employee username similarly I can have a CISO statement I can write down changed employee username is let's say it is whatever it is I can pass on that later on copy this and paste it and similarly I'll create another method which is a protected method to change the password copy it 
and change user employee password and string pass and whatever is the parameter value called of pass will be passed on to the global variable called as employee password and changed employee password is employee password now i want to see in this particular class what is the earlier username and password for employee and the current which is the change username and the change password change username and change password means the current username and password for the employee so if i want to get the earlier username and password first i have to define the value of it so for that i need to create the object of the employee class because all these global variables and these methods are non-static non-static has to be called by the object of the employee class e dot employee username is the earlier username and let's say the value was john I get a printout of this. Sys out. I can write down <clears throat> let's say earlier employee username was e dot employee username then have e dot employee password needs to be defined which was the earlier one so let's this be john at the one two three four and i can write down sys out earlier employee password was E dot employee password similarly I want to get the current or the change username and password so I need to call it with the reference variable of the employee object e dot change employee username and let's say the change username is G -O -H -A. Johnny and the <coughs> change password <coughs> excuse me let's say is the rate one two three four so if I save this class file I will get the requisite result as it is this was the earlier this is the current now understand one particular thing the as an admin or a super admin I should be able to change the username and password for the employee and I have told that it is a protected global variable out there and a protected password a protected method that you have created inside the employee class the protected can be used in the same package in which it is created and across other packages if the classes of the other packages are inheriting this particular class file so what I will do is that admin will let's say inherit employee so extends employee and you have to import this class because this class belongs to uh, pack one and you are importing it to the package called pack okay and after that i will right now at this point of time comment these two lines okay after that what i can do is that I can create an object of the employee class here in the admin class file e is equal to new employee and very conveniently I can change the password and the username for the employee so <clears throat> you can just call up e dot Uh, 
avoid to call with employee i can actually create a it is already being created i can create it once more admin so i'll call this as a1 new admin you <coughs> can just run a1 dot i can change the ad you know employee username and the employee password out here So let's say I change the password of the employee to sorry change the username for employee to <clears throat> let's say mark and I change the employee password not admin employee password to let's say mark at the rate one two three four so why I am able to do that in the admin class because it's a protected and protected can be used in the same package and the package is pack one or in other packages if the other classes present in the other packages are inheriting the package in which the protected access specifier is used so it is extending employee if you see that that is why you can change the employee username and password and after that i can save the class file and get the changed employee username and the change employee password by running the admin class file similarly super admin should be also able to change the employee username and password and employee change employee username and the change employee password methods are protected so if some other class file present in other package wants to change the employee username and password it has to inherit the employee class file because the methods that are made are having protected access specifiers in the employee class so this will also extends the employee and then it can change the password so what it can do is that it can create object of the super admin and I'll call this as SA1 and then very conveniently can change the where is that and dot Oh, I have to import this particular class file because employee class is present in pack one and I'm importing it to super admin which is belong to pack package so first I import it the import is done like this employee is a class belongs to pack one and pack one is present inside pack once I do that I can get the changed employee usernames so that is how I can change the employee name let's say to let's say Mackie or let's say Maggie and the similar manner I can change the password of this particular username to change employee password and password let's say is Maggie the one two three four so I can save the class file and run it and I'll get the change employee username and the change employee password out here but let's say the employee wants to change the password or the username of admin is that possible so very conveniently I can do what is that I can create a object of the admin class that is always fine a is equal to new admin and since admin class belongs to the package called pack I have to import that because employee class is inside pack one done that now understand the methods called change admin username and the change admin passwords are default default can be only used in the package in which it is created an admin class belongs to package called pack and here employee belongs to package called pack one so should I be able to use those particular methods a dot I will not get the 
methods called change admin username you can see that if I forcefully try to use it so I'll copy this for example not employee admin these are the two methods right which I want to call it so I'll just call it with the reference variable and let's say I want to change the name to something for example the admin username should be changed to admin and the admin password should be changed to I'll copy it because when I put the dot when I put the dot I don't get the option of change admin password you can see that so I have to forcefully use it to show you guys let's say the change password should be admin at the rate one two three four and put a terminator sign you will see that not visible <coughs> method change admin username is from the type admin not visible and here also the change admin password is not visible and the not visible syntax error is coming because admin has a default access specifier used in the methods and default access specifier can be used in the package in which it is created and employee belongs to a different package so you are restricting to for the employee to change the admin username and password and that's fine so i'll comment this now let's say it wants to change the username and password of super admin as an employee out here so i can very cleverly i can create the object of the super admin let's say sa is equal to new super admin now super admin belongs to which package the package is pack and employee belongs to a separate package called pack1 and you need to import this class file do an import after that i want to use these methods called change super admin username and the change super admin password which are private private can be only accessed in the class in which it is created so i will forcefully call it if and if i try to use sa dot I will not get that method of change super admin password or change super, super admin username. I'm not getting it. So I'll forcefully call it and try to change it to let's say super as the change username and I'll forcefully call this also. SA dot forcefully call it because you will not get the option when you put a dot so I'll call this as super at the rate one two three four and you will see this it is not visible not visibility is coming because both the methods present in super admin are private access specifiers private can be only accessed in the class in which it is created and that is why it is showing you a syntax error called not visible and not visible so I'll comment this that is how you can basically secure your codes like this the last is your pack 2 in which I'll create the end user class and let's say end user I am using the public access specifier public access specifier can be used across all packages so a string type global variable let's say and user and username and public string and user password And I created a, I create a public method so I'll just pick up from here so that I don't waste time too much and change the access specifier to public from protected first and change end username and this is the parameter value needs to be passed inside this variable copy this 
and you can write down change end username is end user and this should be also public public method can be accessed across all packages I'll call this as change and use a password and uh, the parameter value of pass should be passed on to the end user password which is in the global variable and the changed end user password I can write down is this much once done and then I can want to get the earlier username and password of the end user and the current one current one is the changed one so what I need to do is that I need to create an object of this class I have to change the compilation so object of this class needs to be created to call the non-static global variables and the non-static methods present in this class so new end user and then e dot end user name let's give the end user name as e u1 and let's print out this I can write down earlier end user name was concatenate this with e dot end user similarly e dot end user password equal to let's say it is u1 at the rate 1 2 3 4 and I do a sys out at the earlier end user password I can just put it out here end user password verse e dot this much and plus I want to get the current value that is the change username and change password for end user so I can just call it with change username I need to give the name let's say as eu2 and change user password as let's say eu2 at the rate 1 2 3 4 and if I were to run the class file after saving this is what I get and let's say the employee wants to change the username and password for the end user possible because these methods are public methods public method can be accessed across packages admin can also change it and super admin can also change it so I'll show it in employee how do you change it so I can create a object of the end user let's say eu is equal to new and user <coughs> I got to import it because end user belongs to pack 3 pack 2 and I'm calling it inside the employee class which belongs to pack 1 so you have to do import after import you can basically do eu dot let's say change end user username you can change it from here let's say I call this as u3 and I can also change the password if I wish to this is the password and use a password and I can change it to u3 at the rate 1 2 3 4 and I can get the result by running this employee class similarly admin can also change it so I'll just call this inside the admin and 
I'll call this as EU4 and this will be EU4 and end user needs to be also imported out here you can see import has already been done and this is how the admin can also change the username and password for the end user and you can check the result EU4 EU4 at the rate 1 2 3 4 and the super admin can also do it so I'm just gonna copy the same stuff out here the only thing is that I will call this as EU5 and this as EU5 so that is how it basically works the access specifiers get the results out here this is how you can create security for the codes across the packages out here so that's about it if you have any questions please let me know thanks very much for understanding